Welcome to Pocket Women and Lock Picking and Lock Sport. Today we've got something a little bit different. We are at the beach. Check it out. We're at the lovely Summerfall Beach in South Australia. Out there is my assistant's dog and my wonderful wife. We're all at the beach today because yesterday it was 40 odd degrees and today it's down to 35. Yesterday I spent the day at the till down under. Today I'm at the beach. So what I've got for you today is a little 30 millimeter lockwood. It's a vintage circa 1990 and we're going to try and pick that today. Yesterday I had a pick of it at the tour down under and got home and the video just was black. So today I'm going to do it at the beach. So that was yesterday. This is today. So I'd like to give you a little bit of a history on the Lockwood 30mm. It started off as the 232. I picked this little beauty in my video number six and that was given to me by Paul Springer and that one is prior to 1990 it still has the Lockwood Australia on it and after that they made this little one without the Lockwood Australia just the Lockwood insignia on it today we've got this little 30 millimeter, which is now Asa Abloy Lockwood. So <clears throat> Lockwood was uh, taken over in uh, 1999 by Asa Abloy. They brought 50% share and then 2001 they got the lot of Lockwood. So all the ambulance changed to Asa Abloy. Lockwood started manufacturing in Australia in 1934, started by the Ogdens in uh, America and moved on out to here. So we've been manufacturing for a very, very long time. The difference between all of these, I'll just take this one out of the packet, I just brought it. Let's try and get it out. Brand new, haven't had a chance to have a play with it yet. They're not called the 232s anymore. They're called the 120s or the 110s. That's the series, but they're all still making the 30 millimeter. The difference between all three, let's put them in order, is the early Lockwood Australia is 30 millimeters this one is 30 millimeters this one is slightly bigger than 30 millimeters so as you can see they changed a bit over the years but they're still cute as a button to pick a nice fun pick, so let's get into it. You hear sounds in the background, can't cut them out, that's called the public. So, it does work, don't have a key. Let's see if we can pick it. Yesterday I was very nervous picking, struggled to get these little baby picked because I was doing it on the street, in the gutter, watching the tour down under while I was at the finish line. It was a great day out. 40 degrees, a little bit warm, but they had misters, they had water stations, Port Adelaide Council did a fabulous job on setting it all up and having it all accessible for everyone. Let's try and get this in frame, I'm trying to stay out of the sand, because you know, i got these old locks. They have been used, and uh, there's enough crunching going on. 
So let's try and get this picked. Finding the pins is the key. Moving from high tide to low tide at the moment. So I'm going to try and do a few more of these videos out of the lock studio. Show you a little bit more about where I live and how wonderful it is where I am. Losing it in the hand. It's a tiny little thing. People walking past, having a chat. Probably getting some weird looks about now. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try again. Breeze is picking up. Lot we might get an afternoon storm. That'll be good. Try again. So sometimes this little baby picks straight away and sometimes it doesn't. It just feels so different today. It feels really Okay, there's a cabin in there. It's wide as. So I might try and get another little pick. Didn't plan this part. Don't have another pick ready. One moment. There we go. I only brought the one tension wrench down the beach with me. Didn't want to get everything covered in sand. seem to be dropping into cabins so that tells me I'm oversetting oh, over stretching my back bad angle bad angle can you see it yeah Something to hold me up. There's one pin. Come on. Almost. <laughs> 